So being at FADA, being the chairman, how are you looking for the future aspects and what are your plans for the upcoming tenure and maybe more? Uh, so thanks, thanks for uh, having me here. It really feels good when you attend the physical meeting and in FADA we were trying to do a lot of physical but you know how COVID went. So now it's better, hall full, that's good. Uh, looking forward to the coming two years as a chairman of research and academy. A long way to go because uh, I have started a lot of things in during the last two years in FADA. These are the two things which I am now working on to start up and uh, it's a long way to go. We are launching two courses for dealer principals today and the research team is onboarding as of now and we are trying that uh, like our uh, monthly Vahan data has become a very credible source for auto industry, we come up with more interesting, interesting statistics and space where the government, the RBI, the OEMs can take it for planning future and these uh, uncertainties which we go through the issues which what crop up in between uh, in an instant doesn't happen. So as you know, dealers are on the ground. So we are the actual uh, ears of what is happening with the customer. So we are trying that FADA research should capture the customer's verbatim and analyze it and suggest how the things will go in future. So that's where our planning is going on. When we talk about the customer analytics, again, uh, there is a very famous, you know, the developments that are being going on, a very common word these days is being used, that is AI, right? So when we talk about artificial intelligence, when we talk about Internet of Things, do you think that research, the sector of research and development needs more of the technological advancements than ever before? And maybe infrastructure as well, because uh, when we collect data, we need a good infrastructure as well, when we are talking about, you know, the relevancy of data. So what do you think are the basic needs of the you know, development in the technological sector for research? Uh, as a dealer, this is a very, very big question you have asked, not ever thought about. Uh, I feel this is an answer which can be done given by a computer science engineer. Uh, but yes, uh, very frankly, we also know that we are sitting on a huge lot of data with us. All the vehicles which have become connected and with the way ADAS, the driving assistance coming in, the rear view camera, the front view camera and the 360 degrees what is, and they capturing how the driver drives the vehicle, how the all around vehicles are moving, the traffic is moving. So all this, when you see that, we are sitting on a huge lot of data. But very frankly, till date, uh, nobody has understood how we can utilize it for future. There are a lot of companies who are working on how to reduce uh, accidents because of that, how to improve the drivers working because of that, how can we also make our life safer as pedestrian, as drivers, as a two-wheeler driver or as a cycle driver also. So these data will help. Plus, a lot is going on in the insurance sector because of this data. So I feel in days to come, we'll see where the driving habits will device or define what are the prices we pay for the insurance renewal so there are a lot of things happening so iot yeah iot ai these are words which are jargon to us but actually what benefit a customer can get because of that data is what is in the study going on and very frankly in the car industry this has happened just two years or three years back the check of connected vehicles we never heard about it five years back so it's just new so even car companies are also trying to ascertain what is happening. So we are seeing a lot of electric vehicle companies coming in who know how to uh, value this data and analyze this data. There are a lot of uh, IT companies coming in supporting the car companies. So like we talk a lot about Apple and uh, Samsung where we see that they are also wanting to work it. Like Vodafone is too big in auto abroad, not in India, but they have a Voda auto company which uh, manages this data. Even in India, if you see the SIMs what are installed in all the cars which give all this support system and GPS and all that, that also gives them the data to work on. And obviously, this helps it. So I feel it's, it's in a nascent stage, but yes, it will help the customer and moreover the road safety a lot.